Hey guys, let's take a look at these uh, factorable denominators again. And uh, re remember what we did last time is we just, uh, you know, when we saw something like this and some denominator like, I don't know, uh, you know, let's say 2x minus 7. And over here we saw another fraction and it was, you know, 7 minus 2x. We looked at that and went, wait a minute, those are exactly the same. Let's say there was a 5 up here. Those are the same, mi minus 2x, positive 2x. Positive 7, negative 7. Okay. Remember, you can change the sign of all of these. So you can go ahead and make this into not a positive 7, but a negative 7. Not a negative 2x, but a positive 2x. And then you change this too to a negative 5. You can add those together. That's what you do, that you can do. So let's look at this. Copy this down. Pause it if you need to. And we're going to do the same thing. Except we're going to have to factor it, this fraction first. And you, you remember how to factor these. It's not that big of a deal. So let's take a look. x plus 3. And I'll hold off on this for a second. All right, let's factor out x squared minus x minus 6. Two numbers that multiply to give you negative 6 and add to give you negative 1. Of course, that'll be negative 3 and 2. All right, now here's the thing. There's my x minus 3, right? Okay, and over here we have the exact opposite. We have negative x and positive 3. So we're just going to go ahead and just rewrite this as an x minus 3, but make sure that you change this 3 to a negative 3. The only thing extra is, look at this. Look at those two denominators. They're slightly different, which means this one lacks the x, x plus 2. So we're going to have to put x plus 2 over here and also x plus 2 up here. Okay. All right. Well, we can go, you know, a negative times a negative. That'll be a positive. So this is going to be positive inside here. So what we can do is we can go, okay, the denominator has an x plus 3. It also has a negative, you know, times a negative. We'll just say 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 2 is 6, okay? So we can just get those like terms together. That'll be 4x, and then 3 plus 6 is 9, and then this is all going to be over x minus 3, and then times x plus 2. There you go. That's it. Only thing we did different was we had to factor this first, then figure out, oh yeah, this one looks like that one, except it's the opposite. Which all parts of that one fraction. Okay, pause it a second and copy this one. All right, let's do the same thing here. We've got x plus 7 up top. The bottom is a piece of cake to factor. That's the easiest one you can think of. Just about x plus 1 times x plus 1 minus, and again, let's go ahead and change it. We got this is going to be an x plus 1, and again, this is going to have to be changed here, the opposite there. And of course, this lacks the x plus 1. So we're going to have to put that on the end of it, which means we're up to, to the uh, numerator too as, as well. So do that. Okay. Well, again, negative times a negative, that'll be a positive. So we can just go, we get an x plus 7 here. Then we have 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 1 is 3. All right? So we have an x plus a 3x, that's a 4x, and a 7 plus a 3, which is 73. Oh, don't write that. Write 10. Okay, then our denominators, the x plus 1 times the x plus 1, and there you go, got it. Okay, let's try one last one, and take a second, you know, and copy this down. All right, well, let's just go ahead and copy down x minus 3. We got our x, and we need two numbers. Uh, multiply gives us negative 15, which means negative and a positive. Add to give us negative 2, which means negative 5 and positive 3. Okay. One of the clues as to what these will be is that one of these will be the opposite of these pretty much all the time. So, All right. No negative x, we're making it a positive x. No positive 5, we're making it a negative 5. Okay. Which means, this is where it gets kind of weird here. These two terms, both of these will have to be opposites as well. So we have a negative x and a negative 2. Okay. This one lacks x plus 3, so we'll put it on there. And then I'm going to make this as one unit there and then multiply by x plus 3. Only, only strange or weird part about this one is you're going to have to do that multiplying all the way through to those terms and you get some kind of a, a little bit longer of a numerator. So anyway, okay. So we get, uh, I got my x minus 3 right here. Then I'll have oh, negative x times x is negative x squared. Negative x times 3 is negative 3x. Done. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. 
Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Okay, so I'll put these in descending exponent order. All right, so I'll just write it up here. We'll write a new, whole new exciting color. I got my negative x squared. And x and negative 3x, that'll be negative 2x, minus 2x, and that'll be a negative 4x. So that's gone, that's gone, and that's gone. Negative 3 and a negative 6 will be a negative 9. And all that will just go over the same denominator, negative, uh, excuse me, x minus 5 times x plus 3. Okay? All right. That's how you do it. Try the practice problem and uh, pause it, and we'll come together in just a second. All right. Let's copy down here. This one is a piece of cake. So we got x's, we got a negative 4, a negative 4 here, and a positive 1 there. And we got plus, and let's just go ahead and go, ugh, that's opposite of x minus 4, so let's just make it the opposite of x minus 4, which means we make this the opposite as well, negative x minus 5. Lacks this, so we need to go times x plus 1, times x plus 1. All right, well, let's see what happens here. We got an x. We got a minus 2. We got negative x times positive x is negative x squared. Negative x times 1 is negative x. Uh, done. Negative 5 times x. And then negative 5 times 1. So we'll put that first. So we get negative x squared. We got an x. We got, oh, those cancel out. We got a negative 5x. Done. We got a negative 2 and a negative 5, negative is negative 7, all over this as a denominator right there in the bottom. There you go. Okay. All right. I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.